Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Niyash Kumar Singh and we are talking about Load Runner tutorials. As a part of today's tutorial, we will be getting into a deeper dive of the actions which are used in VUGen, which is Virtual User Generator. As a part of today's tutorial, we will be understanding that how these actions can be utilized more effectively in terms of creating a script for performance testing. So what's the difference between VUSER init action and VUSER end and how to record differently in these actions from the different points of business process? And how does these actions help you to iterate only the part which you want to iterate, but not just everything else as a part of the business process. So let's quickly spend a little time to understand the same and how you can actually interact with these actions and what specificness these actions include as a part of UJ. As a part of this tutorial, we will be understanding what are the different actions in VUGen, which is VUSER init action and VUSER end, recording in different actions and iterating an action. In order to get started, we have to recall that in previous tutorial, we understood that how you can actually consider and record a simple and basic script. But of course, it requires you to also understand that what are the other three actions are used for. If you remember again in the very first tutorial, we spoke about that the VUSER init basically stands for initialize action. If in case you have anything to launch and login can be performed there. And similarly, VUSER end can be used to closure of any application like logging out and closing an application. And the action is the part which basically used for iterating a particular business process and if required to perform multiple times. You record that script as a part of action. But now today we will be understanding that how to practically go ahead and record different actions and different steps in different action altogether. Now to get started, of course, you need to make sure that you have taken care of all the prerequisite and just go ahead with the recording option here. In order to get started, now this time, as you remember, that it contains the URL which is going to launch the application automatically. So you don't really have to uh, worry about creating and launching the application yourself. Thus, the moment the launch happens, the VUGen starts capturing all the events related to the launch by default. That's where, in beginning itself, during the recording settings, you need to switch this option to VUSER underscore init. That means when I click on the start recording, the launch events are captured as a part of this action. Now that's how you record in VUSER init. But you will definitely see that how we can switch the actions while in the recording mode. So to get started, just click on start recording and it will begin with the basic interface of uh, recording the events. Now, as you can observe that we have got some events being captured here on the recording pane and launch is actually happening. So now everything is being recorded as a part of user in it. Now, if you have also want to capture login, because as per the business process, the launch and login are only performed once in the beginning of the test. That's where user unit will be helpful. But of course, a business model or business process which need to be iterated should be recorded as a part of action. So let's continue doing the sign in here using the same user ID and password that is Jojo and Bean and click on login. Once you're done with the login part, now we have to record our business process which we would love to iterate every time as a part of action. Now in order to continue recording in action, drop down here and switch to action user or action action and say yes because probably we are just using the existing test to override and then click on flights button. Just select any particular place here just to make sure that you're flying from one particular city to another city and click on continue and select a flight here on this page you select and uh, no need to fill any information there just click on continue and your flight is confirmed. Now all you need to do is we have to record the end of the iteration or business process so we have to drop down from here and select the VUSER end and then click on sign off. Now this is how you can actually capture the logout event as a part of the VUSER end. Once done with all the process, you return to the main phase again or main screen where you started and just press the stop button to stop recording. Now this is how you basically 
capture your events accordingly in different actions. And now we will see during the replay that how exactly each uh, action plays its importance role and in terms of uh, contributing from the different point of view. Now you would see that there are three actions on the top because it has information, it will show up by default. Now if I start with the uh, user in it, I see the index.htm and login.pl. If I come to action, I see that there are the information which are related to the business process and vuser end shows me the sign off part. Now if in case I have to replay this particular script, but I want to do something iteration, Let's click on replay first and then I'll show you how I can iterate a particular business process. So click on run because it's a very golden rule that every time you uh, record something, you do need to make sure that everything runs smoothly and there's nothing wrong which happened during the recording phase. So right now we have a successful output, the script passed the execution, but this time I want to do the iteration and want to show you that vuser init and vuser end cannot iterate. It can only execute once in the beginning and once at the end, respectively. To do that, of course, I have to go to the replay, uh, replay menu and click on Runtime Settings, which can alternatively be accessed from the Solution Explorer, that is Runtime Settings here. So just double click on that to open the Runtime Settings. And uh, in the same, you would find the options to iterate it. So when I come to the Runtime Settings here, there's a very first option called as Run Logic. And the run logic consists of an information here that is number of iteration as one or two or three or four, whatever. Now, if you see, if I have iterated this event for the four times, I see that there's only one action which is getting iterated or multiplied by four, but not the init, not the end. Also to add, at this point, you can insert a new action here. That means if in case you want to further break down your business process into multiple major actions, you can include by clicking on this button, insert what type of action you want to insert. If in case you want to insert a init function or end function also, you can definitely further separate it like launch of the event or launch of the application in one user in it and the login part in another user in it. So it's all about creating different transactions when you conduct performance testing. And I want to make sure that if it case the test fails, you know exactly where it would have gone wrong. And generally it's all about making sure that each transaction gives you the right output. So this action creation will help you to identify the right transaction, which basically degrades during the performance test. So creation of action is very normal here. And if you prefer to have definitely new uh, actions, you can always create them using this button. So now with added iterations, that is four times, let's run this and see how exactly does that behave? So I need to just make sure I save these settings. As, as far as you see an asterisk mark on the top, it means that something you changed has not been saved yet. So make sure you save it and then come to the action or in it any function. You can have, go to any of the actions and just click on replay. Because it will, no matter wherever you are, by default it starts executing from the user in it. All right, we see a number of iterations happening here and all of them have passed. So let's expand this and look at the output log to understand whether this happened or not. So first of all, if you see the very first message here says that the vuser script started at this point and the next line says starting the action vuser in it. And it just completed the index.htm, login.pl was successful and then it goes to the iteration one. That means before that it is ending the v user in it. Now that was confirms you that no matter if I iterate a business process several times, but v user in it and end are created in such a way that it will just iterate once by default. Then we started with the welcome.pl and we did all other activities. Iteration one completed, iteration two begins. Similarly, two ended, three starts, and then comes three, four, and once the four ends, then you can see that v user end gets started and v user end that is expected welcome.pl underscore two was successful which was basically to sign off. So all the details here in the log file will definitely showcase to you that how exactly it happened, what exactly happened and it will just give you the clear picture that when you iterate a test only the action part gets iterated several times except the v user in it and v user end. Now that's very simple to now record a script uh, in different actions and make use of it like a real-time environment. So that was one of the uh, 
option here which we spoke about runtime settings we'll be talking about them in detail in upcoming tutorials we will be talking about different logs here at the bottom one after the other in the upcoming tutorials again and don't worry about these pink lines because these are some of the warnings and we'll be talking about the same when we come to the upcoming tutorials so there's a lot to learn i would request you to quickly practice them and make sure that you have a good grip on whatever you are doing on daily basis so that's all from this particular tutorial team should you have anything else feel free to comment below i'm always there to address your queries and answer them well till then keep learning keep exploring keep understanding the context thanks for watching the video team and happy learning